This is the children's Sunday school lesson. Um, Jacob had 11 sons at this point in this story and one daughter. But only one of his sons was from his favorite wife, Rachel. And he really, really loved that son. That son's name was Joseph. Is it good for parents to love one child more than another? Can you remember the problem with Isaac and Rebecca? How they loved one and the other and didn't love them both? Jacob's running into the same problem as his parents did because that sin has come down to another generation. So he loved Joseph the best. And when Joseph was 17 years old, he was out in the, in the field with the sheep, with the flocks of sheep, with his older brothers, and his brothers were doing some bad stuff. And so he came home and told his dad about it. Oh, did he make those older brothers mad? Oh, they were so angry with him because he tattled on them. But it didn't matter because Jacob really loved Joseph the best. In fact, Jacob made for Joseph a most beautiful cloak, a coat, a robe that went clear down to the ground and it was beautiful. All different colors on it. Oh, it was so nice. And his brothers felt very jealous. Dad probably should have made more coats than just one, huh? So um, they were pretty jealous about it. And then it got worse because Joseph was a dreamer. And in his first dream, he dreamt that they were out in the field and they were gathering up grain into sheaves. And all of his brother's sheaves bowed down to his and his was left up. Now, to have a dream is one thing, but to tell it to your brothers that they're going to bow down to you, not a good thing. And that's what he did. He told his brothers, and they became more jealous and more envious and hated him even more. And then the next night, he, or another night, he had another dream. And in this dream, there was a sun and the moon, and there were 11 stars, and they were all bowing down to Joseph's star. So he told them that dream too. And they were just so filled with envy and jealousy and they just hated him. And it was a very bad thing. Um, so I chose for the memory verse one that really makes sense with this story. It comes from 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. It talks about what our families are supposed to be like. It says, love is patient. Say it with me. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Let's do it again. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Let's pray. Dear Father God, I can see right away Jacob's sin in loving Joseph the most. But I can also see that maybe Joseph might have had a boasty, proud attitude as he was wearing that beautiful coat and talking a little bit too much about his great dreams. And I can also see that his brothers were not kind to him and he was not kind to his brothers and that they were filled with envy and jealousy. Oh Lord, our families are not supposed to be like that. Our families are supposed to be patient and kind with each other and not be proud and not be boastful. Help us, oh Lord, in the way that we treat each other today. Help it to glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen.